how much Greek mythology will I actually learn in four hours using ChatGPT study mode? I was obsessed with Percy Jackson as a kid, so I'm familiar with the stories, but I want to master it enough to make it my personality for the next year. And we'll see if I succeed because at the end, I will take a final exam. But first, what's my current knowledge? God's Zeus of Olympus. 12 labors? I don't know. Jason? Okay, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, these are just like the basics, so of course I got those. Developing areas, cause and effect, yeah. I would love that. Upper beginner, all right. So I'd love to get into at least intermediate by the end of these four hours. I reviewed the 20% list to see which topics I'm familiar with versus which ones I'm lacking. Right now I'm gonna focus on the myth cycles, starting with Trojan War. I love the analogy. Or is it an analogy? I don't know. For the fairest. Oh. What? I didn't know this was a sort of- are you serious? That's actually so petty. <laughs> I get it. This wasn't invited, so it's like Sleeping Beauty. Snow White, Golden Apple for the fairest, also kind of like Snow White. A bribe. So that's basically what I did for the rest of this myth. ChatGPT walks me through what happens step by step, then have me answer a check-in question, or guide me in what could happen next. But Helen is already married. Achilles is to Greeks, Hector is to Trojans. His best friend Patroclus, an arrow to his heel, which is his Achilles heel. Before moving on to the next myth, I asked it to give me a short answer quiz for active recall and knowledge check. Because he wants Greeks to suffer. Agamemnon. Right, I forgot the plague part. Next is Odyssey. I'm gonna do the same thing as I've done for the Trojan War. I want to employ active recall. So I'm doing this for the first two myths before moving on to the other four. This is because I have three hours left and I wanted to lock down all of this information first. Then checking if I missed or misunderstood anything. 85 to 90% accurate, yay! And I did the same thing for the Odyssey. <laughs> giving me five to seven sentence summary for each of those four remaining myths. I can create a table comparing and contrasting all these different heroes. Do you think you can create a timeline for each? Can you create a visual map of all these myths and their connections? So time's up, so now I have to take a final exam. It's because Prince Paris... So this went from me trying to check my knowledge to being frustrated with ChatGPT study mode. Why did you have it like this? Why why did why are they showing this? C A B D. Because that is exactly the answer. Theseus. Okay. Why is it showing this? Oh. And what kind of souls go there? Oh, why? I don't like this. His 10 years suffering of not being home. Upper intermediate. Would that be right? I don't know. If anything, probably lower intermediate. Also, ChatGPT study mode is a really good tool in helping me learn information little by little. But just when I ask it to quiz me like this, it gives me hints, it gives me sometimes the correct answers. I'm sure with the proper prompts I could do this better. This is still fun because I think I have learned so much in four hours.